for the shown beam, we would like to analyze this indeterminate beam with fixed support at A, fixed support at D, and we have two rollers. Uh, we are given vertical settlement at support B by 20 millimeter. It's very important to consider the material properties and the section properties if you are analyzing indeterminate structure or effect of settlement. So uh, to get this section properties, uh, a moment of inertia 800 times 10 to power 6, I'm going to assume cross section made from concrete with width 150 and the depth uh, 400 millimeter. I think this cross section will give you the moment of inertia 800 times 10 to power 6 by bh cube divide 12. Also, I will adjust the material properties to get uh, youngest modulus equals 70 giga pascal. First of all, I'm going to assume my origin at this point. So here is X and here is Y. I will put 0, 0 for the first point, then 8, 0, second point, then 16, 0, third point. The last point will be 24 and 0. Let's start to open Riza. My units are metric, so uh, first step units, I will choose metric, so everything in meter, kilonewton, millimeter. I will hide this grid, so view, uh, drawing a grid, insert, joint, zero, zero, next point will be at eight, zero, uh, then 16, zero, then 24 and zero. Um, from insert members, I will assume my cross. But before this, I need to show you something. From, uh, I think, spreadsheet, we have here materials. So for concrete, we have here different values for youngest modulus. Unfortunately, we don't have 70 gigapascal or 70,000 megapascal. So I will use general. We have here general aluminum with uh, youngest modulus E69,000, uh, which is almost 70,000. I can change it, 70,000 megapascal. Remember, the given youngest modulus is 70 gigapascal. I'm going to use 70,000 megapascal. It will be the same. That makes sense? Uh, probably I can assume the density equals zero for this material. That means no unit weight. So I will look for general material, general aluminum. So if you go to insert members, I will use here general and the material will be general aluminum. So I selected this specific material. Uh, this is specific material. I define the youngest modulus by 70,000 megapascal. I define the density to be zero. That means the own weight of this cross section or this material will not be included. Does that make sense? Uh, to define the cross section, I will use rectangular cross section with depth 400 and width uh, 150. We de decided to use 150 width and 400 depth. That means that section, the uh, uh, moment of inertia will be included. However, the material youngest modulus will be 70,000 and the own width will be zero. Alloy, go ahead and draw your member. We have to fix it at the two ends. So insert boundaries, fix it, support, apply at this node and apply at this node. We have two roller boundaries. We have a, a roller support at this node and this node. 
There you go. We have vertical settlement at B downward. So insert, we have here joint loot. Keep in your mind, we have different uh, choices here. I will select this option. This is an enforced displacement. In which direction? In Y, vertically. How much? In millimeter, it will be negative 20. So we have negative 20 downward. Negative means downward because Y positive is upward. Apply at this note. Does that make sense? I didn't see it yet. Let's watch 3D. One more time, insert, joint load. Yeah, we can do it here. Anyway, so I will go to a spreadsheet, loot combination. We have basic loot combined case one. The factor will be one. And then I can solve. Let's see the form chip first. Here you go. There you go. Okay. So we have only no movement at this support, no movement at this support, no movement at this, at this support. However, we have vertical movement at this support, 20 millimeter. I can show you the internal force, axial force, no. Shear force, we have. Bending moment, we have. Does that make sense? I can show you the reaction in X direction. I can show you the reaction in Y direction. I can hide any results. So one more time, insert joint load, insert joint load, keep in your mind, I'm sorry, keep in your mind to select a displacement in Y direction and the negative, the displacement value, then you can solve. One more time, what we learned here also from a spreadsheet material, you can adjust your material for general. I suggest to go to general. Don't try to modify any material properties for any common materials like concrete, wood, steel. Go to general and adjust this one and make the density equal zero. That means the own weight will not be considered.